There are a few better sounds than chance hitting the ground, huh? Agreed. You had no idea who I was with my hood on and my face down. <laughs> For today, we got our jack and tan work, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit new where you've seen us do some high volume training for our jack and tan work. We're still gonna go high volume today, but we are gonna change it up a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing some pre fatigue sets. Now, the importance of these, doing these pre fatigue sets is it allows us to get more work done in a shorter amount of time. If normally it takes you, uh, five, six sets of 10 reps to be able to you know, have that working set feel, that's a lot of time we gotta spend in the gym. But if we can do a pre-fatigue set where we pre-fatigue the muscle, use a lighter weight, still can get close to a decent, uh, a decent rate of perceived exertion or RPE for the training session, then we're able to actually maximize the amount of time we, we spend in the gym making our training sessions a little bit more efficient. This training session I've been super excited about because I've been thinking about it and literally have been falling asleep cooking up this style of training for like the past two weeks. And so I'm super excited to jump into it. I've never done anything like this in the format that we're gonna be doing it today. So this is brand new for me too. Um, it may be coming in the strength matrix later on this year if this phase of training goes well. If not, then uh, we'll just pretend this never happened and we'll go from there. So pay attention, pull out your notebooks. We got some awesome stuff coming at you guys in this training session. We're doing, um, I'm not even sure what we would call this, but we're basically just destroying ourselves today. Um, the, so the way we started this, this exercise or this superset is doing a buy-in or a pre-fatigue set, which we talked about in the intro, a pre-fatigue set of 20 reps. You wanna hit that pre-fatigue set, pre-fatigue the muscle. We're working a lot on our rhomboids, our lats, a little bit of our biceps and our forearms, but mostly our upper back. You hit your pre-fatigue set of 20, and then the real work starts. Then you're gonna follow that up with a superset. Four sets, 10 reps on the seal row with chains, followed by immediately what Jovan's doing right here, which is a bent over, banded row, with an isometric hold, really focusing on keeping tension in the straps, keeping everything tight and locked in in the upper back. You think about different guard pass positions in jiu-jitsu where you have to pull to get your chest up as your knee cutting through, as you're looking to smash and pass, you have to keep that pressure and keep that tension, keep your upper back tight the entire time. So we're supersetting a high volume set and pumping the muscle full of blood and then forcing it into a long isometric contraction, which is forcing our body to make adaptations to be able to handle a, uh, a buildup of lactic acid, which will drop the pH of our blood. That's what causes the burning sensation. And then in that burning sensation, that, that awful feeling, being able to hold an isometric contraction, so being able to hold a position for 20, 30 plus seconds, which is gonna have a great transfer and carry over to our, um, to our ability to maintain position and to push a hard pace on the mat. At the same time, we're getting a ton of time under tension, which means we're also gonna get a lot more jack too. So these are already pretty fun and uh, it's smoking is all pretty good so far.
just finished up another awesome Jack to Tan training session with the AM crew this morning. And what was great about it was that we were able to get a lot of working in a very short amount of time. And you'll see in this particular vlog, what we did was we did uh, a superset, which is two exercises back to back. And we've done supersets before where we would do antagonistic supersets, where basically you do one muscle on one side of the body and then you superset that with an exercise that attacks the opposite muscle. So a very classic example of this would be push-ups and pull-ups. You do push-ups, tackles the front side of the body, working the chest, front delts a little bit. You do get some of the triceps in there. And then you switch to pull-ups, which is gonna be upper back, your lats, all that good stuff. And you're going back and forth between those two opposing muscle groups. We changed it up this time, and what we did was we focused on one muscle group for the entire superset. We did a uh, full range of motion exercise, like the seal row, like the lion leg curl, like the dumbbell Arnold press, and then we followed that up with a partial range of motion, isometric hold. So what we're doing is we're taxing the muscle, pumping a ton of blood in there, and then we're holding an isometric contraction. These are called yielding isometric. So uh, we're gonna be holding a p certain position. So we held a bent over row position uh, with a band for uh, the seal row. We held a banded leg curl position while squeezing the med ball between our thighs for the lion leg curl superset. And then we did a, a decline push up hold uh, following the Arnold press. And what this does is this not only forces you to hold all that blood in the muscle, but it also helps your body's ability to hold position and maintain structural integrity while under fatigue. Now, this is the key. This is what is gonna make these uh, types of sets and this style of training so valuable for jiu-jitsu and wrestling athletes because in wrestling or jiu-jitsu, you may pass someone's guard and then you have to hold them there for three seconds. They're gonna be fighting and thrashing, trying to re retain their guard, and you have to hold that position to make sure that they can't get away so you can lock down your points. You can't just explode past their guard, immediately get past their legs, and then just let them go. You have to hold position. So what this is gonna allow us to do is be better prepared to have to work really, really hard, and then hold position when we need to. It's gonna help us some local muscular endurance, and because we're creating a pretty large time under tension at some decently heavy weights, we're also gonna get a pretty nice hypertrophic response as well, which basically means we're all gonna keep our chair dog. So anyways, that's what we have on the schedule for today's training session. If you guys are interested in getting started on how to get strong for wrestling and jiu-jitsu, I have a free four-week strength program that I'd love to send you guys. All you gotta do is just click the link in the description below. There's no strings attached. You can just download it for free and be on your way. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh Selledge. You guys can follow me on Instagram, at Joshua Selledge, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.